Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Um, today on my channel I'm going to be starting something new. I'm going to be showcasing some STL files of certain airplanes. I'm going to purchase them and I like purchasing files and stuff like that so I can look at to see how the internal structures are um, um, modeled in CAD and see how other people go about doing it. And um, then I'll be doing a little review here and letting you guys know what I find and that um, then I can teach you guys more about modeling internal structures on my um, CAD Build Fly channel. So the first plane I have today for you guys is called the Avenger. It's an airplane that was designed by Titan Dynamics and Titan Dynamics, they um, uh, make airplanes for hobbyists, UAV hop, um, airplanes for hobbyists, um, commercial, and defense. And this particular airplane has a wingspan of 2.2 meters long. And according to the site, it has a range of about 250 kilometers and can fly um, a flight time about four hours with a uh, 4S 6P 21,000 milliamp battery. So, um, Let's go ahead and take a look at it. And also, um, I printed this plane out with Polymaker's Lightweight PLA, which is this. And thank you for um, Polymaker for sponsoring my channel and sending this to me to use. This is the filament that um, Titan Dynamics recommend for printing this airplane. So, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now, this is the canopy here. And it has an air vent through here and comes out to the bottom here. And so this goes down to cool the battery up front. Let me take a look at it. Okay. This is the plain uh, fuselage itself. And it's made of um, sections glued together. There's no pins inside it holding this together. It's just glued. Um, each section is glued together. And there's, they're flat on each side. And this is printed. They recommend 2 to 3% infill. So it has an um, inner wall and an outer wall. And that inner wall and outer wall, when you print this, it's, um, you print it like again, um, like they recommend, you print it with two to 3% infill. 2% can be a little on the low side and 3% can be a little on the high side. So 3% um, is about what they recommend. And so, yeah, but like I said, there is a wall on the inside here and the wall on the outside. And then in your um, slicer program, you will select a two or three percent infill and that's what gives it the strength on the um the internal structure between the two walls the inner and the outer wall also we have um carbon fiber rods here the um two here and two in the back for the the stabs here we have a lot of space up here to put the batteries and we have straps well um, have a strap up here to hold the batteries down and to hold the, the, um, the canopy down there's two magnets that you glue in here um, right here and right here and then there's two on um, the hatch the front hatch there also I'm, I don't know if you can see those but there's two there also and um, yeah and like I said this is glued together with sections like this. this is a section here this is another section and they're just butted up against each other and um, um, glued together with thick ca what i'm using and what else can i tell you about this um, you can have a camera up front here or you can print uh, one of the fuselage sections with so you can put a um, camera on the bottom of this particular airplane and do a little more talking about this. Each section of this plane, like this here, this is the nose section. And like I said, this is flat up here. So it's just butt glued to, um, together to the other one, the next, each section. And then the two magnets um, go up here and the two go on the, um, on the canopy as well. 
and this is printed with 3% infill. Now this here is just regular PLA that I use for this, to, um, for this chest piece right here. Now sometimes I find um, the lightweight PLA can be a little brittle or just not structurally very strong. So when I find that, what I like to do is just like um, a half ounce or three quarter ounce fiberglass and fiberglass the, the plane with that um, on the bottom and um, they give it a little more strength and just sand it down and get um, a little more structure on that. Now, designing this airplane, it's a very, uh, very good designed airplane and designing something like this with the two walls that's very simple to do too. Um, you just use the uh, um, the shell command, and when you use that shell command, you want to have these pieces all. Um, you want to do each piece one at a time. Don't slice up the. Excuse me. Don't um, shell out the whole fuselage at once. Just do one part at a time and get that part right. So, like this canopy. This, you would um, go ahead and um, in your um, CAD drawing, you would go ahead and put your line to cut the canopy off and then remove this separately. Now, once that is removed, then uh, what you want to do is just cut this front off so it's um, separate by itself. Then you want to go ahead and do the shell command and stuff like that to get um, the part like this done. Now you can put internal structure in here also, before, um, and don't rely on the uh, your slicer to put the infill in it. You can, um, like I say, put your own structure in here um, that way. So, and I've showed you guys um, how to do that, put internal structures, but things like this, it's um, you can just use the infill if you want to, and yeah. And things like putting um, little air ducts in there, like this right here, what you do is just put um, the shape that you want on the front plane and just, per, excuse me, you would use an extrude cut and cut that out um, up front. But this is a very well designed plane. Then we have the elevators um, stabs or the um, vertical stabs. They go at an angle. So this here, slides down on this rod here and this will be at an angle up here and um, then you have the elevator that goes on it as well and here we have the elevator remember to do this right well this is the goes in here like this and then the tip goes on here the rod um, comes up through here and then we have two holes on here and this holds the if I can uh, slide that on there and this will hold this down here so this be able to pivot up and down now the wing it's pretty much done the same way. Inside here, the wing here, we have a carbon fiber rod that goes here through here to give this wing strength. Also, then we have um, the two rods on the fuselage that run through here also. The, um, so this wing is um, pretty strong can hold a um, lot of force. And then we have our servos that would just go down here and connect up to there. So overall, this is a very well-designed airplane, um, UAV airplane, and the motor goes on the back here and this gets epoxied on the back of here. This would go on the back of here, and the motor goes on the back of there. And for this particular plane, it's 
built already. I mean, I um, already put it together and now I'm installing the parts, the internal structure, not the internal structure, but the electronics of it inside. And I'll be using this um, T motor for it. You can see that. And also I'll be using KSD servos as well for this. Now on the channel here, I may show a video of the planes flying um, that I show you guys, or I may not show a video because there's a lot of videos out there of the planes flying already. And it just depends um, if I can find somebody to video um, the flying while I'm out there that day. But if I don't show the video of it, and um, sometimes I don't like to, um, to give the flight, uh, excuse me, flight reviews of actual flying, because everybody's flying style is different. And some people think some planes fly really well. And in my opinion, I find they don't fly well and vice versa. So um, when you see me or hear me give a, a report, um, a flight video on the plane, just take that with a grain of salt. If I say it's a really good flying plane, it may not fly well to you, but to me, it, it may fly well. So um, yeah, just go ahead and take that with a grain of salt there. And um, so yeah, but KST servos, a T-motor, uh, Polymaker PLA, lightweight PLA. And this, I think, is going to, um, just looking at this, it's very light. I think this is going to be a very good um, flying airplane just from the weight of it, but I'm not sure. And um, also what I'm going to do, I'm going to glass the bottom of the wing here um, with either three quarter ounce or five um, or half ounce fiberglass because um, I want to toughen that up some more because this doesn't have a landing gear on it and I'll be doing that to the bottom of the fuselage also and no landing gear on it and at the field that I fly at it's a, a paved runway so it's going to scrape up the bottom of this and I want to have something on the bottom to, um, to take some of that and some of this wing um, also so yeah if you um, so that's going to do it for this video just a short little video the first one here about um, 3d printed airplanes and the structures of this and if you want to learn how to do the design of some of these structures on this airplane just leave them down in the comments i'll be glad to show you um, how to design some of the things that they incorporated in here and i'll probably come out with a video also explaining a lot of the 3d printed uh, stl files that i get you know how they do certain things on them to teach you guys how to do them um, they're not difficult to do if um, you just have to think a little about doing them how they um, go about doing that but um, yeah so uh, once again i'd like to thank uh, polymaker for the uh, lightweight pla kst servos and uh, yeah so that's going to do it for this video and we'll catch you in the next one Subscribe for more.